do the intro with you now because mom is still doing an interview with Kek Mama. It's a Dutch magazine. So how do we start the day every time? I need to go here. We of course start a little bit more with energy. With your baby Aliza, no, Aliana. Aliana. Let's start really nice. Bon dia! Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu. My this name is Jessa. Jessa Taihutu, and her baby's name is... Aliana. Aliana, don't ask me who is her father, I don't know, and man also doesn't know. We hope she is like Virgin Maria, and Ariana fell out of heaven into her lap. But in today's video guys, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life, yes, a really cool Bitcoin chart that I need to show you guys. And yes, we are talking about the censorship that is now taking place all over the world. And um, yeah, what is my opinion about this? And also talking about a survey that took place among investors and how many of them now really are invested or exposed to Bitcoin. So enjoy today's video guys because it's going to be a really cool one where we walk to a very beautiful place here in Lagos, Portugal. Enjoy today's video guys. Bam! No rest. No, no. I've been down so long. Good morning, guys. This is going to be fun because guess who is going to join me today? There comes Jessa. Damn, she's back with her baby. Ah, we are not only with Jessa, also her baby. What is the name again? Aliana. What? Aliana. Aliana? Aliana. Or Adriana? Aliana. Aliana. Not like the singer, Adriana. Oh. Aliana. Okay. Can I see the face of Aliana? Oh, she's still sleeping. Okay. And who's the father? Um, yeah, you just are like uh, Maria, Virgin Maria, and you got it from upstairs in the heaven. You just dropped out of the sky. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mom. So. Did you know Jessa had a baby? And do you know who the father is? <laughs> no. The sky. The sky. She's like Virgin Maria. Mama or something? P K E K Mama? It's a Dutch magazine? He doesn't like to be the music all that. But you made an exception for Cat Mama. He arrived guys. Yes, the car needs the cleaning. Kind of see machine trader still and blockchain valley and house of Dow. Jessa, I think you need to clean the car. I will for twenty dollars. In Bitcoin? Zero comma zero 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 seven. Yeah, around that, around that number. And check the views, guys, because now, nah, boom, we are walking towards that point, and there should be a very beautiful beach. But let's see. Let's first talk about Bitcoin, so let's jump in the Bitcoin TA part. This part. What we do then? Bam! Bam. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> first guys, because you're still freaking out. I can see it in my direct messages. Everybody is texting me and freaking out. I don't want you to freak out. Take a look at this chart. Bam! Bam. Good, just as timing is getting better and better now. This chart I refer to as the dip chart. Because you can see in 2017 what kind of dips we saw. 
you can see the first dip was 38%, then we had another 38% dip, then we had a 33% dip, again a 38% dip, a 36% dip, and a 29% dip. So the 28% dip we just saw in Bitcoin is just a very small dip if you compare it to the 2017 dips. So this dip is on the seventh place of the biggest dips in a week in Bitcoin. Not at all scary to me. And it shouldn't be scary to you as well. The thing that is way more important is that you can also see that after this dip of 28%, Bitcoin showed its biggest bounce ever in a day. And that was a 20% bounce in a day. This is the biggest Bitcoin bounce. Where well, Jessa? Oh, she's gone. Oh, no, there she is. <laughs> the DJI can't find Jessa because she's like a little bit smaller than me. I need to do that again. So that was the biggest bounce of Bitcoin ever in a day. It was a 20% bounce. Focus always on the positive things in life and not on the negative things in life. That is the lesson I learned from this. Yes, you can focus on all the dips, but why don't you just focus on all the runs and the bounces? The runs were like 200%, 300%, 1000%. And then you start to complain on the dip of 28% while we bounced 20% in a day. Focus on the positive thing in life, not the negative part. And the positive part is that Bitcoin always bounces. Bitcoin never dies. It already was declared dead 338 times. And you can count them on the website. Bitcoin still didn't die and will never die because it is changing the world. It is changing this complete monetary system we have been believing in the last decades. This is the 21st century goal that you can spend in any store as a peer-to-peer -peer cash. This will change the monetary system tremendously. Wow. Well, I just see this beautiful view now here. Wait, I will just switch to the screen. Do you like what you see? Do you want to swim down there? No. Oh, look those colors. If you touch the rocks, you will have to Yeah. Spot. But it's beautiful. There's even a hole down here or something. Maybe we can find a place where we can walk to the beach. Mm, yeah, maybe down. Try it. I will follow you. You're the leader. Follow the leader, 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 follow the leader. <laughs> follow the leader, 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 follow the leader. Yes, Jessa is the one that is also going to be a leader in the future, I believe, because, you know, she is just one crazy as fuck just like her dad and two very tough just like her dad and three very honest just like her dad being honest takes you the furthest you can't go down I, I will go here this is more I think this is more safe I haven't seen it's like a beautiful view over here guys yeah we will talk more about Bitcoin blockchain and life are you coming down or not yes please hold Arifana no Aliana! Please hold Aliana very tight because you never know if she falls, she has a headache. <laughs> so yes, that was all the information about the uh, positive and negative things you can focus on. And there's another chart that I want to share with you guys because you can see what kind of dips. Ooh, while well, I come close to this. I, oh. I'm not afraid of heights, but I always get this strange feeling when I see this. These depths. Wait, I will, I, will, I will share it with you. Watch out. Because it's, it's like... That is like high, isn't it? So now we can jump and go to the beach. Oh my god. Check, guys. I wish I could down there, go down there. We can. Then, so do we... you see? Wait, I will just check. Nope, no. I need to check we it. We can. But I will fall. Look. You can go down there. Do you think there is a path? I will check first, but I will come back to you, Jess. Can you wait here? Yes. I'm going to check if I can go then down, like if there is a path. But it looks like this collapsed over here. So I don't think we can walk there, but I can share the view. Maybe go back a little bit. <laughs> yes, guys, you already guessed it. This video is not going to be only about Bitcoin. It's going to be mainly also about blockchain news and life. Because, you know, I think I focused too much on the charts the last couple of videos. And I want to bring back more about blockchain and life into my videos. Because that should be my main focus. Because the rest you will find on the 
Discord group where we share all the traits of the Bam Bam Indicator, the BFAT, and all that stuff. Please become a family member on the Discord channel because there we can take you by the hand when it comes to trading, charting, and all that stuff. Can you walk down here? I don't know. We can try. I don't think so. No. Hmm. I'm taking on the end. Maybe we need to go a little bit more around that Where's one. Mom? She's still doing the interview. But let's take a look at this chart, guys. This chart, bam. Jess forgot to do it now. Bam. Yes, bam. On this chart, you can see that the dips that we have seen in Bitcoin the last couple of years, in average, show you how far we could dip. In 70% of the cases, we dip more than 15%, which would bring us to 35,700 US dollar which you're of course already dipped to. In 80% of the cases, we dip more than 23%, which would bring us to 32,600 US dollar, which we have already done. In 90% of the dips, we dip with 37%, which would be a dip to 26,900 US dollar, which we haven't done yet. And yes, of course, we can also dip all the way back to 6,000 US dollar, but I don't believe this at the moment. I believe you're still in the bull market. I believe we will see a 100K price around July till December this year, depending on which model you follow. But again, I just want to make sure that in the short term, Bitcoin is going up and making dips here and there. So yes, this chart is only showing you how often Bitcoin has dipped to those levels. Really interesting chart. Take a look, pause the video, and analyze the chart yourself so you understand exactly what the chart is showing you. Bam! Do you want to check on top? Sure. Come. Mom is still doing the interview, talking about Bitcoins. What a sexy mom you have. She thinks like, why? Why do I need to talk about Bitcoins? Because daddy makes me. <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> oh shit. Not you. I almost fell. <laughs> Okay, um, holding a camera, walking flip-flops on this steep climb. I have a freaking baby. You have a freaking baby. It's not easy, but we reached the top of a Simba. small top. I'm Simba. Now you're like the Lion King. <laughs> hold, hold the Lion King in the, in the air. There we can walk down. You think? And there's a path. So you think if we walk from there, no, look, we can we walk... Like, maybe go up there. Yeah, and then walk down, down there. there. And then you walk down there. And then we have a path till that beach, maybe? Yeah, I think. Do you want to try that? Sure, let's jump. I'm not going to jump, but we can try to walk there. Maybe you're right, yes? Let's go and see if we can... Ah, I can see the path over there. What do you say? Yeah, Sorry. Like what? Like I like feet and no. Oh, shit! Oh, 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 how are we going to go down now? Oh, I thought there was a path. I thought if you were... Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh. Look, 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 look. I, I look. just bumped my foot. I thought if you walk, oh my God, over there, look. That path? And then go down there, then you can go down there. You see the whole grass thing? Yeah, I can or, see it. Or, the or there, there's a stair. Yeah. Come on, man. Okay, perfectly done. The man just finished the interview. Oh. She did really good, I think. It, it was her first interview because she never wants to do interviews. Why don't you want to do interviews? Okay, there's one clear reason. Wait, you need to come closer because uh, else yeah, you need to... Can I walk first because it's very slippery. <sighs> this looks very amazing how I'm walking now. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Yeah, with the X legs. Okay, um... Don't pretend you don't have X legs. <laughs> I don't have. <laughs> yeah. Um... So why don't you like to do interviews? Because they are talking about money. I get that people have an opinion and people uh, must have an opinion, but I... Um, how do you say that? How do you say what? Um, Ask me in Dutch, I will translate it for live you. Live and let live. Yeah, perfect. That's my opinion. That's a good opinion, but what does it have to do with not doing an interview? Because people create an opinion of just that interview while there is way much more to it. That's correct but how else would you show people an alternative way of living if you don't share your story or tell them how we do it okay um jess what are you doing are you dancing <laughs> you can just walk down 
Look, Jess is dancing. Walk. You can go first. Sorry, Ken. You're coming up again. Oh, we need, we to, need go to go down. down. <laughs> I will this go way first. Is better. It's just flip flops here. Flip flop, flip flop. Or you sit. Oh, so sit. yeah, I understand what you're saying. But on the other hand, we also have a have a mission that we want to educate people how they could change their lives. Yeah, but I'm more a person who talks one on one. Yeah. Than uh, like an interview or. Group of people or something like that. Oh my God! Ugh. Jesus. You know what I mean? What's uh, this time we are going a little bit slower than normally. <laughs> it's not because I'm lazy. It's now today because Jessa uh, with her baby, she has uh, having troubles. Arifana. Aliana. Oh, sorry, Aliana again. I I, I keep saying it wrong, wrong Jessa. Aliana, you know, needs to come down safe. And we don't even know where it leads to. <laughs> Come Peppy and Cocky. For the ones who don't know what Peppy and Cocky is, it's like two funny clowns yeah, in the Netherlands. I even don't know. You don't know, you're too young for Peppy and Cocky. You're more like the age of uh, Dump and Dumber. No, not Dump and Dumber. Jessa, come on. You really are too much on your computer if you find this scary. You should be happy I'm going with you. She doesn't want to say. <laughs> you see it's what I say? She is getting very smart and she's getting very responsively well educated by her dad. If mommy, she always has an answer. Always. If always. mommy has a baby on oh, her fuck. belly, she will not even go. No, where do you think that we took you as a baby? <laughs> yeah, I will keep it up and then you walk around it. I will look like an idiot on video. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, wait. Check. Go check if we uh, can go to the beach. If we're not, I'm going to yeah. Again, guys. Yes, this video is going to be a long video, probably. Uh, where was I? Wait, I need to check where I was. So, my opinion, guys. Bitcoin is now um, moving between 30k and 35k. 35k at the moment is the resistance. It's a tough resistance because we made a huge drop from 40k to 30k. Yes, I will go down first. And and when you drop that big, people get a little bit scared. They're like, oh no, Bitcoin could crash to 20k or to zero. And that is why they don't buy back yet. So that is what makes Bitcoin go sideways always for some time. And that's what we experience now. Bitcoin going sideways between 30 and 35k bouncing up and down before people get confident again to enter the market. And then when they get confident to enter the market, then we will see a Bitcoin price going up again. I believe that we will go and try to test the 40k level again before maybe again a small pullback but if you zoom out to the charts we could still make a 40 percent pullback as well from that next time that we test 40k so we could even go to 40k pull back again with 16k because that would be 40 percent but that would be back to 24 000 us dollar per bitcoin if we would pull back with 40 percent from the 40k that we are going to visit now next in my opinion but then again guys please zoom out any even further because because if we make that 40% pullback, that will be repeating what we saw in 2017. And that will be very healthy if you compare it to all those pullbacks. And that will make it possible for Bitcoin to go all the way up to 100k in the next run of this bull cycle. Don't freak out. Always zoom out. Is the, beautiful, is the view beautiful? Can we go down more? Are you, are you Dora the Explorer? We can't walk down. Can't? Can't or can? Can. Is there a stairs? Like two stones. Yeah, you can't. I can't, can't see you it. Cannot, um, but can. maybe we need to go to the next beach. There probably is another beach around the corner. But this is the beach. <laughs> no, there should be a beach. This isn't the beach. No, I maybe took the wrong act. Uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> Jessa, is it possible or not? No. Yeah, it is. That mom, look. Watch is what you have on your wrist. May I? We can walk down <laughs> there and then. Oh my god. No? Well, it's not. No. Mommy is scared, pussy cat. <laughs> <laughs> Serious, no. not? No, it, it's difficult. Okay, so we need to walk around a little bit it's more. It's like uh, rock climbing. I think there is another beach around i will call her ali g okay i will call her baby ali g because i forget the name every time ali 
Yana, uh, Ali, uh, and then Yana. Ali, Yana yeah. just experienced a beautiful trip. Oh, fuck. In the, <clears throat> between the rocks. Well, Ali, Yana's grandfather is holding a bag like this. Jessa wants us to follow her. So let's follow Jessa. She knows better. We can go up. We can go down. It's only up. We can now go back. Certain things Jessa has from me. Get down. But always being right, she definitely has from the mom. No, I'm only right when I know I'm right. Yeah, that's always. <laughs> While we walk back through this path, I will talk to you about the next thing I want to talk to you in this video. There was a very interesting thing that I saw yesterday in the video of Crypto Crew University Steve. I like to see his watch his videos because sometimes he has very cool new information. And yesterday he showed a video where he used the stock to flow model to predict the next bottom after this bull run. And the next bottom after this bull run would be 40,000 US dollar if we keep repeating what the stock to flow model has been showing us the last two bull runs. Because you can see the yellow line going up and then going sideways for some time. And that is creating the new bottom of the stock to flow model. And this yellow line that always goes up before the bull run, shoop, you see it on the, on the chart, goes sideways. And then when it goes sideways, that is the new bottom of the new cycle. So we should be going up to 100k or even 221,000 US dollar in the year 2021, which would be really cool. And then if we do the 84% correction, we always see in Bitcoin, we would be falling back all the way back to this 40k level, which would be an indication that whatever you do, if you buy Bitcoin in the next couple of months, below 40,000 US dollar, you will be probably looking back in the future to a period that you're never able again to buy Bitcoin that cheap yeah, below 40,000 US dollar. Because if this stock to flow model is right, then this new bottom will for be 40,000 US dollar. So this is your last opportunity to buy Bitcoin cheaper than 40,000 US dollar. Really cool video by Crypto Crew University yesterday. Just check his channel because he has amazing content. Eh, not for nothing, 100K followers. And we only 16, 17K followers. I still don't understand why I only have 17K followers. I am discovering Portugal, all the place, everywhere, beautiful things. I'm showing you the world. I'm not sitting just behind the desk analyzing charts. And still, we only have 70K followers. We are doing something wrong or just look at it positive. We are doing something right because we grew from 1,500 followers at the beginning of the year 2020 all the way up to 16,000 followers now. So I will just keep doing what I do and hopefully then we will get more followers. Do you agree with me, Romain? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, we don't have enough followers. She's just saying yes. She was not even paying attention. No, I'm looking for the beach. <laughs> This is definitely not the beach. Check. We no, thought. But the beach is probably down here. Look. We, we, wait, wait, we, wait. Here. Yeah? I have Google Maps. You have Google Maps? Show it on the Google Maps here. You're following me! What is this? Oh, fuck. That was Google Maps. <laughs> Naturist. Nat Naturist beach. Nature People will be naked, but not now because it's too cold. Clothing op optional. <laughs> you can't work. But I wanted to go there, so maybe I can see. So if you wait. Okay, I will do my video. Because this definitely is not the route. Check the view again. Beautiful view. Ah, Jess, I can see where you want to go. Maybe you're right, Jess. Wait, Jess, mom is following Google Maps. She's just checking if there is a stairway to the beach or something. And where do you think we need to go? Wait, show me. Aha. Yeah, it looks like a very adventurous path. Can you hold this back for one second? Okay. Ah, wait, there is a sign. FK. Oh, man, there is a sign over here. Yeah. Yes, is there a beach? Yeah, and here is a sign. I think we need to take this path. Then I don't know. Come, let's try it. Yes, is always right. Are you always right? I'm always right. How high will Bitcoin go? Uh, one million. One million? But you can already go with Jessa, I will follow you. 
it's about censorship, guys. <clears throat> we can see massively the, in the industry now that censorship is taking place. All kinds of way of censorship. They are censoring, Twitter is censoring you, Donald Trump. And we saw that the new WhatsApp type of app, Parler, is, going, is being censored, is, going, is being taken down by AWS, that it's uh, Amazon Web Services. Uh, I don't like this. I really don't like all this censorship in the industry. And I think a lot of people agree with me that this censorship is really bad for the industry. Because, you know, AWS, if I pronounce it right, it's like uh, Amazon Web Services, they also control a huge amount of the Ethereum nodes. So a lot of these Ethereum nodes are run AWS. So are they always, or is Amazon also um, able to, you know, to close down these nodes, these Ethereum nodes? And if they will, you know, break down, these, whoa, whoa, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. And if they, uh, you know, if, if they are going to be censoring Ethereum nodes, that would not be good for the industry. So this is terrible, in my opinion. So we need to keep a close eye on what is happening in the big picture. And we need to start to focus our social medias and all the stuff we do, also as the Bitcoin family, to decentralize options in social media, decentralize options in websites, etc. You know, we already have... Wait, you need to see this. Yeah, I am. I'm afraid as well, because we. I think I'm going down here. You are going. <laughs> you can't even fly. Why there? Why this? Because there is a path. You see the I will help you. One, give oh. me one second. Let me go first. Jesus. No, Jesus. <laughs> I don't think Jesus is going to help you. I will come. Where? Just your foot, one there. Okay, yeah, and one. then you just go up. Oh my God. It looks all difficult, but it's. You know, it looks like it's all going to collapse. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> but it doesn't, didn't collapse with my 90 kilos. Oh, the beach is beautiful. Check, guys. That is where we're going to. This is an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? It's slippery at night. What? Bitcoin! <laughs> Bitcoin! Yeah, that's always the same. Just as a... Since... Since Jessa has a baby, it's like hell. You got a hole in your pan. No. Oh, your paw. No. Yes. Where? <laughs> Dirty. No. no. <laughs> We're getting closer and closer to the goal where we need to go. But I agree, it's like slippery and it's not the best, best path. But you know, if you want to see beautiful places, you need to uh, make an effort. Uh, but I think 60% of the Ethereum nodes is running on Amazon Web Services, because it, it's very scary to understand that the Amazon Web Services is censoring, censoring Parley, and now even maybe will censor, you know, all other stuff they don't agree with, or governments don't agree with, and then governments tell them, if you don't censor this, we will shut you down, AWS. So, big games are being played, and I hope they don't affect Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency. I think that is the biggest advantage of Bitcoin, that it is completely decentralized and it has the most nodes running and also still individu individuals running nodes and not only huge companies. Of course, there are huge companies, but you know, they don't all use AWS. That was the news about censorship. Stop censoring us because we will leave you and choose for all the alternative ways there are possible in the decentralizations we are seeing now on the blockchain. Bam! Well, there is another way, an easy way. Why do we take this one? Because then we need to go all around the cliffs. I showed you. Ah. <laughs> Did you see that face? Oh. That is Romain's face when she thinks she's right. This is a video without structure. But you know, what does it matter? We are not structured. We just want to show you how beautiful Portugal really is. Even with a kid and a baby on your arm, you can visit these amazing beaches. Oh man, this is like the movie The Beach. You know, where Leonardo DiCaprio arrives in Bangkok and then goes into this beautiful beach that nobody knows where it is. Yeah, we've been there and actually it isn't real life. No, it's not as beautiful as this it's one. About it going up. Now we will find another way up or swim.
Okay, we arrived at the beach. That's the positive part. And the beach is beautiful. It's also positive. And it's also... My mom said we could go the easy way up. I think up is more easy. It's really beautiful. Look, there's a cave, Jessa. There's a cave. Maybe some bitcoins in that cave. We are family. New shirt available in the store. I will make a lot of part of the video, Jess, and then we will view and look if we can... There's you know, no other way, we check. No, we will find the treasure over here somewhere. But guys, why do I know for sure that Bitcoin will go up? Because I can see these huge whales, they started to accumulate Bitcoin even in these high prices. The huge Bitcoin addresses are huddling more Bitcoins than ever before. Let's take a look. To take a look at the top 100 Bitcoin wallets, they accumulated 11 billion worth of Bitcoin more in the last 30 days. So even in the, during this huge price of 40k, these huge whales are accumulating Bitcoin. 11 billion worth of Bitcoin. That is 16% more Bitcoins that they are all huddling together now. This is around 334,000 Bitcoin that they accumulated extra in the last month. This is a huge number of extra Bitcoins that the whales are accumulating. And when whales are accumulating Bitcoin, they don't think that the market is going to crash. They understand the four-year cycle. They understand that we are going to go higher and higher and higher before a next bearish year. If you want to belong to the top 100 Bitcoin wallets, so if you want to be one of those huge persons, you need to own more than 336 million US dollar worth of Bitcoins and huddle it in one address. If you want to belong to the top 10 of Bitcoin addresses, oh, the sun has gone on my face. Wait, we'll walk back like this. Can you see? DJI, DJI, call me for a new DJI because you are not performing well. If you want to belong to the top 10 of Bitcoin addresses, one of the hodlers, you need to own more than 2.2 billion US dollar worth of crypto. Then you are in the top 10, and with 336 million, you are in the top 100. And the most coolest thing is, of the top 100 Bitcoin addresses, 64 of those addresses didn't send out one set in their existence. So they only added more Bitcoins to those 64 addresses, and there was never one set leaving those addresses, which really shows they are hodlers, 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 and they should belong to the family. <laughs> Maybe I'm one of them. No, I can I can tell you one thing for sure. I'm not hodling 336 million dollar worth of Bitcoin, so I don't believe I don't belong to the top hundred. Maybe even don't to the top thousand. Ah, yeah, I do think I am in the top thousand. One more news item, guys. This is about a survey that took place among investors. This was a really cool survey because it was done among the institutional investors and shows you how much the market is moving in this institutional investing business. 9.4% of the advisors said they now are exposed to crypto. This was only 6% last year. So there's a 50% climb in a year in the institutional advisors. 15% of them says that they are going to invest in 2021. So when we do this survey next year, this number will be way higher than 9.4%. The financial planners, 24% of them is already exposed to Bitcoin, a huge number, but a lot of increase possible there as well. 81% of the advisors is stating now that their clients are asking them to invest in crypto. So 81% of the advisors are bombed by their clients by please add some crypto to my portfolio because the clients want to have crypto and the advisors do what the clients want. So this will grow in the future as well. More and more advisors expect Bitcoin to be worth $1 million in the future. That number last year was about 4%. Now 15% of those advisors thinks that Bitcoin can reach 1 million US dollars. These numbers show you guys that the institutional investors are entering the market. And that is very positive for the whole crypto industry. Guys, this was everything for today. Yes, I know it was a long video and I hope you enjoyed the beautiful views we shared with you. Uh, Romaine was not that much in the screen because she was doing an interview, but still we got to see her beautiful ass climbing the hills downwards and upwards, just like Bitcoins up and down up and down but we finally reach our goal and the goal is this beach 
and that is where Romain feels very happy sunbathing. It is a nudist beach. With optional for clothes. You need to be naked. Okay guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, what do they need to do? Jess, wait one second. Brrr. If they like the video, what do they need to do? Give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because Jess is going to respond to your comments. Thanks for watching. Always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to at life, try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what life should be about. Jessa, can you show me a trick? Like an acrobatic trick? Bam! Give it a thumbs up for Jessa. Hope to see you tomorrow again. I am going to zoom out 